it's been a very heated discussion here already. These athletes are pretty fired up. <laughs> As you can tell, who, who have you got your eye on uh, come Sunday morning? Um, I've got my eye on Charlotte. She's been talking plenty of smack behind my back, so um, I'm, you know, I've got to look out for her. Yeah. What kind of things, like obnoxious things, has she been saying? Um, uh, yeah, I heard she was going to like let loose on the hill and just try and drop everybody, and um, yeah. So I know she's she's talking it up. So we'll wait and see. Do you have a response to that, Charlotte? It's true. I did say all those things. <laughs> Instantly regretting it. I didn't think Ash was listening. Um, <laughs> I don't know who she's got working for her listening to my conversations. <laughs> yeah. She's got many ears to many grounds. It's true. And Rads, what do you think? What I mean, you're like more of the longer course athlete coming in against these shorter course athletes. Surely you've got a few things to say about them. Uh, yeah, just too fast, the girls. They're too fast. You're too fast is what you meant. The girls are too fast. No, you're saying you're too fast, right? Yeah, that's what I wanted to say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, in all seriousness, no, um, Ash, you've run here three times before. I don't want to say hat trick because I think that's kind of like, you know, in, um, in oh, I don't know if you know, but in baseball, they talk about a, a no hitter, but you know, the perfect game, you're not supposed to mention it because it's a jinx. So I'm not going to mention the hat trick again. From now on, I'm not going to mention it again. You've already mentioned it though. Maybe starting now, I won't mention it. <laughs> no, but what's it like coming back, A, defending your title, and then, you know, people talk about um, Snowy, who's won here five times, and, you know, perhaps maybe you're the next person to, um, to be up there at, I guess, her level. Yeah, I guess um, a lot of people are mentioning, you know, Snowy's because she's achieved um, that, that goal of that, the hat trick. Um, but like I've said a few times, she's got an Olympic gold medal and, and three world championship titles to her name. So um, I've got a lot of work to do if I want to be kind of compared to her. But it's definitely something that, um, you know, us Australian girls, it's been so great to have her, her there um, in our history books with that kind of resume. Um, it makes us step up and it makes us want to be better athletes. So... Um, I'm very inspired by her, so um, I'm very look. I'm really looking forward to trying to to get that that third in a row title and, and fourth win on Sunday. And when you talk about people looking up to Snowy, but does it feel strange to know that there's people now looking up to you? Like you're now. I'm not saying that you're replacing Snowy, but there are people out there who look up to you. You inspire them. Does that weed you out? Uh, yeah, I guess a little bit. Um, uh, yeah, I. I don't really think of that kind of thing. I guess um, you just kind of go out and, and do your business and try and race with integrity and race and race hard each time. And and I guess in in turn, if that can inspire a younger generation of girls, um, I'm thrilled. That would make me really happy. And um, obviously, it's not something we consciously think about when we're racing, but um, reflecting on it, um, I, I hope that is the case because um, the future. It is so bright and I hope that there's lots of young girls that are out there at Noosa that get to, to watch us race and, and want to do that in the future. I believe that children are our future. Do, do you guys get that reference? Do you, no? You just sounded funny. It's, <laughs> you know it's a song, it's a song, was it Whitney Houston? I believe the children are our future. Is that Whitney? Yeah. yeah, Whitney. Do you know who Whitney Houston is? I've heard of her. I've heard of her. <laughs> Go get songs, but apart from this one. Get, and I did a very good rendition of her, her her song. Get get out the movie Bodyguard on VHS. Yeah. That what anyway. That? <laughs> uh, okay, we we posted a photo last night about uh, from last year, uh, a throwback Thursday, if you will, of you two at the finishing line, um, having a hug, you know, embracing each other. The, one of the coolest things here is that it is it's a relaxed atmosphere. Everyone's a lot more chilled than than usual. But obviously, you've got to have that white line fever and get out there and actually be going hard. Like, it's all good to be friends, but, you know, how much do you... Or when do you switch from that friendship mates high-fiving hugs to I want to rip your legs off? Yeah, um, I think... I mean, when I'm racing, I never really think of anyone that I want to beat as... It's not a personal thing. I just... Except for... Uh, well, yeah, except yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's not a personal thing. I just want to cross the line first. Um, so it's not got anything to do with the other athletes or anything against them. Um, so, yeah, and I'm always excited when, you know, when I cross the line and I see, 
I guess my friends yeah. too, um, and that's pretty cool. I think I think that's probably one of the coolest things about a finishing line is that it's your chance to celebrate not just the race but all the hard work that's gone into going into any race. Yeah. 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 Definitely. And you know, being an athlete, you know what you've put in, but you also know that the person that's either beating you or you've beaten has been through all the same stuff. So. You know, you know how they feel, whether they're happy or whether they're sad. And I'm sure most people have been in both of those positions before. Rads, I want to jump over to you. Fair to say you've got a pretty busy few months, or you have had a busy month leading into more busyness. Do you actually even know where you are right now in terms of you've just got back to Noosa after racing away, then you've got a couple more races, and then you're getting married. T tell me where your head's at right now. Uh, I'm fully focused on this interview now, <laughs> so I know I'm in Noosa, <laughs> but yeah, sometimes now in these last training sessions I, I'm doing, sometimes I find myself instead of focusing on what, what I'm pushing, I'm planning how to pick up my mom at the airport and what to do with my sister and thinking about, oh, stand-up paddleboard would be great as well and I have to take them to this little cove coffee place and, and stuff like that. It's and then I go, oh, I'm on the training, so it's... <laughs> but it's, it's good fun. <laughs> You've all done this race before. Um, for, I guess, all the first-timers out there, would love to get one tip from each of you. Um, the hill's not that bad. There's always talk about the hill. Yeah. The, the uphills, it's still, it's quite shallow. It, it's not too bad. It'll be over and done with pretty quickly. Yeah. And the downhill's not too bad too. Don't freak out. Just stay calm and, and you'll make it down. No worries. Actually, last year, watching you go down the hill was awesome. Like, you know how to handle a bike. It's, it was really cool watching you smash it down here. Do you just, do you have no fear? Do you just love it? Um, I think I actually practice a little bit, bit more because um, Caroline, a couple of years before, um, yeah, wanted to ride really hard and try and drop me, so I was pretty determined for that to let that happen. So I think that was just, um, it happened from that. I was just inspired not to, not to let her rip my legs off. And that was the actual quote, wasn't it? I'm going to rip their legs off. Yeah, but yeah. Can you look down the camera and say, wh where are you at, Caroline? Scared? No. Um, to just enjoy it as much as you can, even though it's going to be quite painful. But the, <laughs> just letting you know, um, there aren't really any other races in the world like this where there are that many people racing themselves and also so many people just spectating. Um, it's a pretty special experience to go through. So whether you know it's your first race or you know you've done lots of races and you're not have going so well just make sure you do appreciate that fact that it is a special race to be part of like charlotte said just said uh just enjoy it and um maybe because it's such a big race i saw the transition set up just make sure you know exactly where you wrecked your bike the, the before the race because it could be pretty tricky to find your bike and you could lose uh, some precious time because the ta transition times counts into the tra uh, whole race. So just make sure you, you're comfortable in finding your bike because this race is big. <laughs> Last thing, one word that sums up the Noosa event, the vibe, the atmosphere, one word. Community. Ooh, nice. Hot. Yep. Amazing. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you, ladies. Thank you so much. And all the best on Sunday. Look forward to it. <laughs>